What's up everybody, straight to the point here. Quick tutorial on how to download and install Raspbian on a Raspberry Pi or any small single board computer. And starting off pretty simply, we're gonna open up a browser and gonna go to raspberrypi.org. They have three different options for the distro. They have Raspbian, Stretch, and Desktop with software package, Raspbian, Stretch with Desktop, and the like. Nine times out of 10, just download the desktop. The download will go quicker. That being said, I download the zip here to show you guys it's a one gig file and depending on your connection, they don't give a lot of bandwidth for downloads. So it can take an hour and a half to download a one gig file, which is insane. So I show here, I download the torrent. You can download uTorrent or whatever torrenting client that you want to use. It goes much faster. I show both ways here. So here you can see I'm choosing the torrent and uTorrent is going to open and I'll resume after the download is done. As you can see here, I have uTorrent downloading the file already. It's just a one gig file, so it should go pretty quick. While that's downloading, I'm gonna show you how to format the SD card that goes into the Pi. It's pretty straightforward. Most people already know how to do it. There's just different steps and different routes that you can take to get it done. First route I'm gonna show you is SD card formatter. It's my favorite by far to flash an SD card. Uh, select your drive letter, in my case it's F. Label it whatever you want. You can leave it blank if you need to and just click format, click yes. And simple as that, it's already formatted. Uh, the next route is, is via Windows. If you click start and go to my computer, find that drive, right click on it, click format, make sure it's that drive letter. Uh, you can name the volume, whatever you want, leave it the same. Click start, click okay, and format complete. Simple as that, either one will work, dealer's choice. Going back to the download, Open the file location of wherever you save the .zip file. You're going to need WinZip or 7-zip or whatever you need. If you don't have it, download it. Uh, double click on it. When it opens, you'll need to extract it, the ISO file, onto a place that you can remember, your desktop, whatever. It's just important for the next step to know where you saved it. Here you can see I put it onto the desktop. For the next part, I use Win32 Disk Imager to put the ISO onto the disk. As it, here it's open, super simple, choose your drive letter. Uh, find the ISO file, that's why I said remember where you save it. Here I go to the desktop, find the ISO, Raspbian Stretch. Uh, if you can't see it on the bottom right hand corner, you can you can change the file path. Um, it might it might show up there, 9 times out of 10 it'll, be, it'll show up when you choose disk images. Uh, click open. It'll now be in the image file. You don't have to mess with any other settings. Just push right and wait for that to finish. And simple as that. Once that's finished and the write is successful, take the SD card out of your computer and put it back into the Raspberry Pi. And we're going to move on to the first boot of Raspbian now. Raspbian boots super simple. It's the same as any desktop. It's just it's just you got to go through the first boot processes Might take a couple minutes to load for the first time But once it does you can now see that we have setup screens choose a country choose your language choose your time zone and choose your keyboard layout Once that's done the default password on Raspbian is Raspberry you can change it if you want you can leave it the same I recommend changing it uh, set up your network put in your SSID And click next uh, if you didn't choose the updated packaging on the distro on raspberrypi.org, uh, then you'll have to download a pretty extensive amount of updates. It's up to you. But other than that, once that's done, you'll have to reboot. And once you're booted back into it, it'll be all set up and you'll be able to use it as normal. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Super simple guide today. Thanks for watching, guys.